Some of the academies are not taking people. Is there a hiring freeze? Is Kalem going anywhere? Am I going to have a job? What's going on? Hey, I'm Steve Slev. Thank you for stopping by my channel and uh, welcome. And please like, subscribe, do all that good stuff. And uh, thank you for your continued support, growing the channel, your comments, your likes, your dislikes, the emails, all that good stuff. I really do appreciate it. And thanks for being patient while it takes me a little bit to get back uh, to some of you. So anyway, uh, let's uh, update a little bit. Uh, I've been <laughs> I've been doing a lot. Uh, in between uh, having a breakdown and uh, deliveries and rain and all that good stuff, um, I have been moving. So I went from, I think last time we talked, I picked up in uh, Pennsylvania and I dropped off in Atlanta. Uh, then I picked up a load and went up to uh, Detroit, uh, Michigan. And on my way, uh, unfortunately, uh, I had a breakdown. So uh, check this out. Well, I had my first breakdown. That's fun. And I stained my shirt. I ruined my shirt. Damn it. That's not gonna come out. Anyway, nothing like just minding your own business, jamming out and driving along and tooting along and all of a sudden your, <laughs> your brakes lock up. Okay, they don't teach you that one too well. Uh, anyway, I made it over to the side of the, the shoulder of the highway and uh, put my hazards on, got out of my truck. And go look at my airlines and wouldn't you know it, they're not there. Gone. Well, the glad hand was still there, but uh, the hose was ripped all the way off and wrapped around my drive wheel. So uh, apparently, it didn't want to hang on there and it just wanted to rip out. So it just <laughs> ripped everything out. Uh, I was on a bad curve, had to call the state patrol to get them out there to assist me in uh, just getting traffic around. It was a pretty busy highway that morning. Uh, it was raining that day as well, misting a little bit, not really raining, but it was misty and just, uh, just in a bad spot. But service did come out and uh, they repaired me up and got me back on the road. Um, they told me that, hey, you, uh, your clamp must have broke that holds up the hoses. He says it happens all the time. It's not uncommon. Those things, you know, bend and bend and bend and get frayed and then just snap one time. So he said I must have hit a bump. It snapped, drops the hoses down, the wheels grab it and yank it. So um, yeah, I was out of commission for a little bit, but he got me back up and rolling. Um, just another experience to log into my uh, rookie book here and uh, quite fun to learn uh, all this new stuff that's going on and what to look for because like I said you don't uh, you don't think about that kind of stuff you're just driving down the road and shoot hey guess what I got smoke coming out of my brakes kind of crazy kind of crazy so yeah that took me about three hours off of my uh, game there and uh, you know had to try to make up some time but anyway I uh, continued to press north and I stopped off in Ohio and I was able to uh, have lunch with my or dinner with my son again so it's nice when I can get to that uh, Ohio area and if you know if I'm within an hour or so he'll come out and pick me up and we go to dinner so uh, that was a good time but anyway 
continued on to Detroit and uh, enjoyed the drop off there. Check this out.
so yeah, not a bad uh, drop off there. I always loved the, you know, before I'd get all nervous about these back ends, but now, I, now I'm up to the challenge and uh, I like it actually, and I'm learning a lot from them. So uh, bring it on, bring on the hard ones. But uh, I left there and went to uh, pick up in uh, further into Michigan uh, to a bakery, picked up some pie crust, and I headed back down to North Carolina and dropped off in uh, McLean there in Concord, uh, North Carolina. Uh, after that load, I jumped over to Mountain Air, a uh, chicken processing facility, and picked up a load of chicken and delivered all the way to Chicago. Uh, dropped off there in Chicago. And they sent me up to Beaver Dam, Wisconsin, in the middle of nowhere. Picked up some bird's eye chicken, or I'm sorry, bird's eye. I picked up some bird's eye uh, frozen corn, and I'm currently back in Atlanta getting ready to drop off tomorrow morning. They're closed today. Uh, and then uh, we'll see where we go next. So uh, a nice, nice miles, nice week. I've had a nice couple of weeks, actually. Um, they keep me moving, you know, again. You know, you got some downtime here and there in between your loads before you pick up somewhere else but that's you know acceptable at this point uh knowing that um i'm, I'm still moving and they continue to keep me moving so uh, so thankful so thankful for that but let's talk about what the the opening video was about you know i get people saying hey you know the lancaster academy is not hiring they're not taking any new drivers they're only hiring experienced drivers uh what's going on they shut down the morrow facility uh, you know, they're laying some people off, what's going on, uh, you know, and there's a lot of chit chatter going around on KLLM, some of the social media, you know, oh, we're not going to have a job and, you know, uh, all that good stuff. But anyway, I've been in business for over 30 years. Uh, you know, I've been through so many changes with the economy, uh, ups and downs. There's been time I've been super rich. <laughs> there's been times I've been super poor. Uh, but survived all of it and this is going to be no different uh klm's been around for a long time they're a pretty solid company again uh you know i've tried to check financials and stuff like that uh just to see if there's any signs out there and there's not one single sign uh with the financial shape of their their holding company or the the company that does all the finances anyway this is all normal uh, when the economy is like this, unfortunately, trucking is at its lowest. I don't think it's going to go any lower. It's just going to take some time to grow back up. Um, but with KLLM, you know, people are checking into it still. People still want to get into trucking. Um, you know, for those that are trying to get into an academy, keep calling back. Keep calling your recruiter back. Uh, we got a little bit of a perfect storm here, if you want to call it that. Uh, we're we've got people that have graduated and are waiting to upgrade and there's a super long wait for trucks um, we don't have the trucks that we need at the present moment i don't know if they're trying to save cash i don't know if it's just delayed in trucks coming in i don't know that personally i'm just assuming that they're either holding on to cash flow and not buying a bunch of trucks at the moment or um you know it's a supply chain issue i have no idea but i do know that people i mean there was over 20 people waiting for a truck at uh, one point so uh, you know trying to hire people and get them into the system just to only have them sit and then quit because they're sitting around not getting paid um is stupid so i understand that putting a hiring freeze on is a smart thing to do it's smart for you uh smart for them i get it so uh, don't panic there just keep calling back uh, they will eventually open things back up again. Um, you know, high turnover here. There's so high high turnover at these mega carriers or, you know, everywhere. So, and that's no negative talk there. It's just reality. So there's always going to be a spot for you. Um, so just keep checking back. On top of that, with the, you know, the industry being at its lowest, uh, they're just trying to cut cost. And I think it's just, like I said, it's just the perfect storm right now. Um, but there's no need to panic. There's no need to, um, oh my gosh, you know, 
KLLM is not going to be around. I'm not going to, you know, go to them. I'm going to jump somewhere else. Um, if you're in a position to where you need to get into trucking right away and you're looking at three companies, then you go with the best bet. But if KLM is your number one choice and you really want to go with them and you have the time to wait, then I suggest waiting and just uh, be patient and, and hang out and uh, wait for something to open up because it will it won't it won't be down too long um you know they always have these classes going every single week every monday a class starts at what three four different schools i think they have or three schools i don't know um so there's always people being piped into this thing because there's always people leaving this thing <laughs> uh, i was just talking to my trainer here and uh he was training a student and only lasted four days and you know, I just didn't think trucking was for him. So uh, that's always happening as well. So there's always a spot for you. So no need to panic, no need to freak out. Uh, continue to go with your dream, continue to go with your gut. And uh, if KLM, KLLM is the place to be, uh, then just, just wait it out, it's gonna happen. So keep in touch with me. I'll try to give you all the news that I can um, with, uh, with what I hear. Uh, we just got a great message Friday from, uh, you know, one of the uppers at KLLM, positive message. And he actually was saying, you know, all the rumors that are flying around, put a kibosh to it. Uh, you know, nothing's happening. And uh, they're just in a, you know, they're in a reserve mode right now. Um, you know, I've been through it 27 years in the aviation industry. Avi aviation industry is always the first to go when the economy crashes and the last to come back when it's doing good. So... I've survived so many ups and downs with that, with presidential changes, 9-11, uh, uh, just all kinds of stuff like that, that, uh, you know, ups and downs, no pun intended. <laughs> um, but anyway, we, uh, we survived all of that stuff and just made it through. So it's no different here in this industry. Um, you know, again, I'm on all these market reviews, I'm on all these market projections, I'm on all this stuff, reading all the time, updating uh, my knowledge of the freight industry. Uh, we're gonna start seeing an uptick here shortly at the end of the second quarter, which uh, should be May, May June-ish. Uh, but uh, just keep in mind, February is also, I think, one of the lowest shipping months as far as freight goes out of the entire year. Uh, so that also is playing a part in all of this. And, uh, you know, we'll just see where it goes. But uh, again, uh, positive proof here. I don't, I don't sell anything. I don't work for KLM as far as promoting their business on YouTube. This is all just my, you know, people joke around all the time that I'm a, I'm a mole that is just trying to recruit people. But I don't, I don't need to do that. It'd be great if they'd pay me to do that. But um, I don't need to do that. But I'm rolling. Uh, got a great check last week. Going to get a great check next week. Um, got some decent miles in. I'm over 2,000 miles. Uh, so I don't know the exact. I'd have to actually look, so I apologize. But uh, I'm, uh, I'm up towards 26, 2,700 miles for the last two weeks, which is really good considering that uh, it could be a lot worse. Uh, again, you know, uh, they put me on some tight shipments you know to where uh, I had a day and a half to get where I needed to go and be there early in the morning um, and it was it was pretty tight so anyway I enjoy it I love it I love the pressure uh, I love uh, always trying to better myself and you know be more efficient so to say but uh, let's uh, make sure that we continue to be positive let's make sure that we continue to uh, stick to our dreams and goals. Don't let this take any wind out of your sail. Continue to move forward. Uh, continue to press KLM and the recruiters and say, hey man, you got anything? Call them every week. Call them every three days. Um, but anyway, don't get discouraged and uh, continue to uh, pursue where you want to go and who you want to drive for. Um, anyway, quick video, quick catch up on what I've been doing. I'll continue to monitor everything that I can and pass on any information I can to you, but continue to uh, pay attention, continue to like the videos, continue to subscribe, and uh, we will talk soon. Thank you so much. Steve Sliff, I'm out of here.